Hi friends, we're in your student workbook and we're in your problem set and we are working on module one, one point or lesson 11. Um, today should be really simple because we are simply just adding um, and these are things that we should have covered before. So we're going to get started one plus eight. We're always going to start in our ones columns. Now something I also want you to realize is that their ones, tens, hundreds are lined up, which always needs to happen. This one doesn't have a thousands place, so it doesn't need to be lined up but it always will be. So one plus eight is nine, six plus one is seven, three plus two is five, we bring six plus nothing down to a six. Pretty simple, this doesn't have any regrouping, so this is gonna be your answer for A. This is stuff, this should be majorly review. Now, as you see, we're starting to get into some thousands, and that is when it's gonna get a little bit trickier. So four plus three is still, seven nine plus one is ten so that is when we start to have to regroup because that's a ten we're going to put that zero there and we're going to carry that one if you're looking at a um, place value chart like we've been using in past lessons you're carrying that one just as like we're regrouping into those other groups um, so now we have three plus one is four plus four is eight those commas are going to stay in the same exact spot, so I'm just going to drag it down, and then 8 plus 2 is 10 now. I'm going to put a 0 here. That would just be like carrying another 1 over here, but there's nothing to carry it to. So your answer should be 10,807 for E. And you should be following along. This shouldn't be an, oh, Miss Erickson's going to do it for me, because you have to know how to do this when it comes to be your turn. Now these look like really big numbers and they have the commas, but notice it's just simple. They're just still lined up and we're going to still work through it. So 1 plus 5 is 6, 1 plus 4 is 5, 8 plus 4 is 12. So I'm going to put that 2 down here and I'm going to carry the tens over to the thousand spot or that hundred. So because it's left over, I'm going to carry it over. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Again, I'm going to put my 1 here and carry it. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10, so the 0 stays, the 1 goes. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Now, we still have commas, and so that comma still stays, but for I, your answer should still be 901,256. So on J, and you'll see it on K, they wrote it horizontal, horizontally rather than vertically. Um, and that's why we're going to have to sit there and rewrite our problem. So 527, 275, and 752. Notice I still lined up my ones, tens, and hundreds. That makes it a lot easier. So 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Now, I've seen on Zern and within this workbook that when they carry their one, they put it down here. I think it might be so that they don't get confused for when they have to cross things out and do everything else up here. Um, and so I kind of like that as well if you want to try that. So 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 5 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So I'm going to carry my 1. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. And 14 plus 1 is 15. So I have a 5 and a one left over from right here. Um, I see that there's four numbers, so I go one, two, three, and I add in my comma. Now the last problem I'm gonna work with you is a word problem, and um, you're gonna have a problem as well, but in the instructions it says to draw a tape diagram, and then we're also gonna use the numbers to solve and write your answer as a statement. This is important. When we're showing all of our work, Sometimes those numbers can get confusing, and I, we don't know what your answer is. You might forget what your answer is. So when you're writing a statement, you're rewriting the question to let us know what you're trying to say is the answer. So um, in September, Liberty Elementary School collected 32,537 cans for a fundraiser. In October, they collected 207,492 cans. How many cans were collected during September and October? So a lot of information in here, um, we know because of how many and because it says September and October, we're going to add these numbers together. But first of all, I'm going to draw my tape diagram. So this tape, tape diagram is going to represent the total. And so this total side is going to be the cans. 
Now, we know that they collected a smaller amount, 32,000. They collected 32,537 um, in September. And then in October, they collected 207,492. And that's what this type diagram is showing. We have a smaller part and a smaller part, and we're trying to find the whole. So we're going to add them together. So I'm going to put the bigger number on top, 207,492 plus, now I need to line it up. So I don't have anything in the 100,000s place, but I do in the 10,000s. So 32,537. When all said and done, we still go back over to our ones and we still add by going down. So seven plus two is nine. Nine plus three is 12. I'm gonna put my two here and carry my one. Five plus four is nine plus one is 10. So I'm gonna put my zero here, carry my one. I see these commas, I'm gonna go ahead and add them in because those should just go right along with it. Seven plus two is nine plus one is 10 again. So I have a zero here, I'm gonna carry my one. Three plus one is four. And then two plus nothing is two. So your answer is going to be 240.29. But remember, we have to go back in and make this a statement. So what I am going to say is that 240.29 cans were collected Sorry for this handwriting. I blame the slate. During September and October. These statements are important for us to make sure you're understanding what you're writing about and what you're solving. Um, also, I know I will not personally accept an answer until it has that written on it. Um, so make sure you're just rewriting the question and you're an putting your answer within that question. And for your assignment, you need to make sure you are completing um, A, B, or sorry, one B, one D, one H, one K, and just the word problem number three. All right, friends, thank you for being with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.